Hey, does this situation sound familiar? A friend or co a coworker rather surprises you with a Christmas gift and you didn't know that you were exchanging, you have nothing to give them. Or, um, you know, it just feels a little awkward, even though they're like, no, it's fine, it's fine. What do you do in a situation like that? Or in any situation where it's kind of like an awkward gift giving thing. So joining us this morning to talk about some of these tricky situations, our etiquette expert, Arden Kleiss, uh, joining us today. It is so good to have you. Great to be back, Liz. So All right. good to see you. So good to see you. So I want to jump right into this. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that scenario. Um, you get a gift for someone, or maybe someone, someone gets a gift for you, you didn't know you were exchanging, you have nothing. What do you do in that awkward situation? So it is awkward, but yeah. you know what? You just you just go with it, you thank them. You don't say anything like, oh, I didn't get you a gift, or I didn't know we were exchanging. Yeah. Just thank them and then, you know. Should you ever double back and say, okay, I will go get you some? Is it too late at that it's point? It's too late, yeah, it's too late. It looks sort of like you forgot. Yeah. So just say thank you and send a nice thank you note. Oh, that's a good idea, thank you note. Like Make it up really for that, sweet. yeah. Um, Let's talk about regifting because this is always a big one every year. Um, what is the final word on regifting? Because this can be a really awkward situation. It can, it, and it depends on what you do with that gift. So, okay. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of regifting, but if you are really thoughtful about, oh, you get something and you think, oh, you know, this person would really love this item. It's not somebody in the same circle where the person gave it to you. Mm -hmm. So there's no chance that this person's gonna know that Susie gave it to you and you're regifting it to Jane. Okay. So um, make sure you take all the receipt or uh, any cards that were part of the gift. Look or, really hard. You know, <laughs> yes, do look hard. Yeah. And, and, then, and then give it to them um, really, as a gift that you think they'd, they would love. Okay, all right, so yeah. regifting is okay under it's certain circumstances. Under certain circumstances. All right, um, what, about, um, what about the workplace? Can we talk about the workplace mm -hmm. a little bit? Uh, what's the deal with getting gifts for bosses? Um, I, I know people who say you absolutely positively always have to get a gift for a boss. What would you say about that? I say no. So the reason I say no <laughs> is because um, when you give a gift to a boss, it looks a little bit like you're kissing up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they can backfire. It can backfire. Oh. It actually can backfire. So what I suggest you do is instead get your coworkers to come together and give a gift from the whole group. That's a good idea. So then it doesn't look like one person's trying to curry favor over the other. And um, yeah, just present something or take your boss out to lunch with the group. That's great. Yeah, something simple. What about coworkers? What if you work in a really large workplace and maybe you only have a couple people you want to give gifts to, but you don't want to offend everyone else? How do you go about doing that in a polite way? Yeah, that's absolutely fine because okay. you're going to have people that you like working with and others you don't know very well. So you just handle it quietly. If you can take them out to lunch or you go have coffee together and then give them the gifts so you're not you know, making a big show of it and everyone's seeing and thinking, well, she didn't get me something. Right. What's wrong with me? They know. Oh, oh God. Yeah, yeah. So, so you just keep it kind of on the down low and, right. and, and it's absolutely fine. All right. So yeah. that's really good to know. I, yeah. I'm also curious about, um, let's say, let's say, I mean, we've all gotten weird, bad, terrible, awful gifts that you're going, did they, did they even know me? Right. Or what if it's um, offensive? Like we were talking yesterday in our news meeting. What if someone gets you like a weight loss DVD and you're going, I had no idea you wanted, like, it, like something that might be uh, right. offensive yeah. or weird. I've gotten some strange gifts in my life. How do you deal with that without seeming like a jerk? Right, right, right. It really depends on what the relationship, what the gift is. If it's someone you're not going to see again or very often, you know, just be gracious and say thank you and don't make a big deal about it. If it's someone you know well. Like a and, relative or something? Yeah, like a relative and it's something like a DVD for weight loss, you might say, oh, gosh, I didn't know you thought I needed this. Okay. You know, so, I mean, don't don't be offensive to them, but, but right. you know, just maybe let them know I'm a little surprised. Yeah. But this is, wow, okay. I wasn't expecting and this. And it's not a white elephant gift. <laughs> right, and, uh, right. Where can people get more information? Because you always have such great tips on etiquette. Thank you. They can go to kleissetiquette.com. I love that. And uh, I've got a newsletter and a book called Spinach in Your Boss's Teeth. Oh, right, yeah. Yep. Which they is a good that. gift. <laughs> it's a great gift, great time for giving that to, to people that you love. Okay. And it's on Amazon. Thank you so much for being with us. I feel You're like you always help us kind of get through some of those really awkward situations. For a happy holiday. A happy holiday, <laughs> yes, you. indeed.